I see something ahead. Look. So, we decided to take a family trip Outer Island to Hawaii Island, also known as the Big Island. That didn't work out. First up, please. While we are surfing, <laughs> now we can't escape. <laughs> but he made a hole. Hi, bud. <laughs> the ocean is what brings our crew together. So there's no better way to start our trip than getting underwater with these guys. The shallow waters are surgy today because of the swell, so we have to dive a bit deeper. My first drop is 85 feet. I see some smaller uku, but nothing else. We all pass around an opelu, a bait fish that we use in hopes to lure in something bigger. It works. There's a nice uku off in the distance. And on the next drop, Justin Lee secures it. We all take turns diving, filming, and spotting one another. This is Perrin dropping down to a hundred feet on a reef filled with life. He misses that shot, but we all get fish to eat for dinner. It makes me happy to show Buddy where food comes from. But our time in the ocean is done because we need to head Malka to the mountain because I want to introduce Buddy to where our meat comes from. This is Haloa Aina. I'm a novice bow hunter at best and a rusty one at that. Oh my god. That wasn't but I get a lot of help from my friends. That'll kill. Mm. <laughs> Not quite the O. <laughs> That's what? the problem with Kimmy, she's so used to perfection. <laughs> so when she's two inches off, she's mad. Justin Lee and his family run Haloa Aina. It's a native forest restoration project. They plant native trees back into the wild and to help manage the high numbers of invasive species that cause destruction to the forest, they do the most natural thing they know, subsistence hunting. So basically the sheep are like the Roy and the Ta'ape on land. And Those so, are invasive species. So we try and take the invasive species out. Good thing this tastes good on the barbecue. And we're gonna save some sandalwood trees while we do it, huh? Since starting this restoration, many of the trees have grown, created condensation and rain, and the health of the forest is returning. Justin, come. Come by, Uncle. Come. Okay, yeah. good luck, yeah, you, you two. Like good luck. Justin's filming this one. Are you ready, Kenny? I'm ready to get away from that little baby. <laughs> 
Thanks. Say bye, Uncle. Say bye. We see you later. Thanks, bye. Uncle. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> That's a Urkel. <laughs> but all the songs. Are... I'm freezing. In 30 minutes, you're going to be sweating. Okay. <laughs> Every time I go bow hunting, it strengthens my connection to the environment. It is so hard. You have to be so quiet. We just saw some sheep up there, and it's really exciting. Justin, like, what are we gonna do now? So yeah, we're uh, we're walking in, and there's a herd. We just saw them really, really quickly, so I haven't even looked at the binoculars yet. But they're in the open, so we kind of have to let them move um, into a more advantageous place for us to to get closer. Um, but the wind is strong in our face. They have no idea we're here. That's a good thing. And so, well, uh... Because then they can't smell us. Exactly. They can't smell us. And we got like a 10 mile an hour wind in our face. So what that will allow us to do is get away with a little bit of noise as well. I get really, really nervous. There's this thing called buck fever. I get it bad and it's not even bucks we're on. She just wanted to show you her mouth like this talking, so it was really close, but... And Justin Lee's mustache. <laughs> There's a bigger herd below coming up. Ready? Here we go. You have to creep and crawl and move so slow, but you truly learn what the grass and the dirt smell like. And after all of that hard work, if you finally get an opportunity and miss, it's the most humbling feeling of starting all over from scratch. Should I not be shooting through those types of things? It's whimsical grass and it just hit your arrow just perfectly. Like one in a hundred. I can't even believe how exciting that was though. However, Justin hears a solo young ram off in the distance, and we try to close the gap and call it in. What'd you just do? I feel a little bad because it's young. <laughs> That's the good eating ones. It's a good eating one. It's a great eating one. It's a swift. That was that was a good shot. Dad. That was great. It just dropped. <laughs> <laughs> that was epic. The perfect shot feels like such success. That's okay. Heck yeah, that's okay. But it doesn't come without the complexity exactly. of compassion for my prey. Babies don't come from storks, and meat don't come from supermarkets. It's okay, I feel a wide range of emotions right now. Adrenaline and processing emotions oh, yeah. can make for a weird combo. Oh, yeah. If I eat lamb chops, it's I need to connect the dots. Lamb chops. It's probably eight months old, nine months old. I think they harvest them in like six months. For lamb chops? Okay. Yeah, you're totally good. It's confronting and accountable. And tonight, we all process our catches together at camp.
I marinate my ram lamb in olive oil, rosemary, and garlic for two days, saving it for a special birthday. And we take Buddy to see other parts of nature. Minnesota. Okay, I just gotta go. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's so cold. Oh, <laughs> oh it's too cold. It's refreshing. <laughs> Make a wish, okay? We gather together to celebrate our dear Susu's 75th birthday. Is this batch cooked? After it's done, like what's the past tense of spatchcocked? Spatchcocked. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but first, we sample our roasted feast. That's really good. This is delicious. Holy mother. It turned out smoky, tender, so flavorful. Like, that's the thing about wild meat. Like, animals that are actually able to live wild lives and eat um, just straight off the land like that is that you can taste it mm -hmm. in the meat. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm hmm. Oh, the lamb ram. Thank you, Kimia. Thank you, Justin I, Lee. I didn't think it'd be that tender. Save Actually. the environment, eat invasives, and take food to feed your family and know that you're you're helping the forest. Mm -hmm. Bite down and rip. Good boy. This is the original teething tool for babies. Did you know that, Justin? bones we carved the meat off and put it on a platter and now we're gonna make a bone broth and these bones are so flavorful it's gonna be so delicious we're gonna go overnight and we're gonna have it for breakfast even before coffee that's a big deal the morning after our feast we sip bone broth and in the days to come we make so many more meals our final dish with that ram lamb. We're doing hot pot. It's spicy, baby. And I realize it's not just the ocean that brings us together. It's the primal appreciation for being a part of nature, for being a pack, and for being Ohana. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to our wonderful circle of friends here on the Big Island for not just always being so much fun to hang out with, but also just for personally not just accepting this new chapter of life of having this little monster in tow, but for completely embracing it. Go play in the dirt. As we take him from Mauka to Makai, basically mountain to ocean, when we harvest our ingredients and then to come together and celebrate it all, it just means the absolute world to us. I would also like to thank the sheep that we're eating. It might be an invasive species, but we still appreciate you for feeding us and you're absolutely delicious. And thank you to Haloa Aina and Justin Lee for everything that you're doing to help save the native forest and plant trees. And if you want more information on what they're doing with sandalwood trees and with the reforestation project, there will be a link in the description below. Bye!